Good afternoon. It is Saturday, September the 9th, 2023. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've had a cold since about the 23rd. But what I'm talking to you about today is Bariatric Center Lutheran Health Network. That is where I am currently signed up to here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, at my highest weight, I was 538 pounds. I'm down to 400 and within a couple weeks, 400 and uh, let's see, I think it's 479.8, which does not seem a lot, but I've been on a, yeah, 479.8, <coughs> 65 inches, so I'm 5'5", five five. but <coughs> I have been, you know, it's something that I'm 54 years old, so it's time to uh, put up or shut up, literally. I've tried every diet in the world, and it is something that has been extremely hard on me. Every time there's a commercial on TV, it seems like, um, well, you know, I want that food. It's just like an addict wanting a specific drug or an alcoholic wanting a, that special kind of go-to booze. But the bottom line is, I want my life back. I have been 22 years, literally 22 years, where I've been disabled and not able to function in the real world. Um, I'm an artist, so not being able to get out and go, even setting up a booth downtown, you know, when they have their art festival or something, I can't even do that. Um, I have issues with the heat and everything. I think that's just me as a, in general, being Irish. But, um, you know, we are given choices in life, and what we make with those choices inevitably uh, affect the rest of your life, my life. Um, you know, I'm not proud of the fact that I let myself go, but I did. You know, I think there was environmental issues, environment issues, excuse me, that affected my life. Um, why I chose to do what I wanted to do as far as, you know, not eat like that. Um, I was given a medication that, Cymbalta, that I took the medication, I started in April or May of 2015, I was at 400 pounds, by 2015, uh, October of 2015, I had gained up to 75 pounds. Why, how, I have no idea. And then I ended up getting a devastating blood clot that literally left me where I couldn't take care of myself as far as you know, a general day-to-day -day things. Cleaning house, doing this, doing that. I was anal about my house before. Everything had to have a place. You know, I used to even tag my drawers with, you know, white socks, colored socks, white underwear, colored underwear. You get the drift. <clears throat> but I guess after a while, you get tired. I've been on this odyssey for... 19 years that I went to my first seminar 19 years ago. I was 35 years old and I thought would it be possible for me to get all this done and to try but I just you know you just life comes in the way and you just make excuses and that's all what it is is you make excuses. Um, I'll put some pictures up later of how, you know, how big I actually am. I mean, you know, a big boy, very big boy. Uh, but the good thing is I found out my heart's fine. Uh, my pulmonary issues, I have asthma. 
and I think I have COPD. Um, I've never smoked, but I've been around secondhand smoke. I find it very difficult for me to walk even, you know, down the hall or something. So I use a mobile scooter, a Jazzy, to do most of the things that I need to do. But what I wanted to share you <coughs> is when you go through the process, they give you a nice little welcome letter. Let me find it here. Um, and it may be in the other stuff, but I don't have it. But anyway, they go through... Well, I'll just tell you the stuff that's in my folder. Okay. They give you a... It's a LHN Bariatric Support 2023. You have to go to the group meetings here in Indiana. They had four of them. I completed the fourth one with uh, Dr. Sonia Lingo. She's a behaviorist and about uh, navigating weight gain. That was done 9-7, and it was an hour meeting. Uh, the next one is going to be 10-5, and it is importance of nutrition and supplements after bariatric surgery. And they, they just go through and tell you, like, your weight reoccurrence here, it tells you about you need to drink at least 64 ounces of water a day and 64 ounces of water is an astronomical amount of water uh, continue to exercise three to five times a week um, attend a bariatric support group and why do you why do you do that because well I mean you see the other people that's exactly like you and you know I thought it would be dumb to do that but it's not and I'll tell you why because not only can you add your opinion in there, or you ask the question, you can also get the feedback from the individuals that's been through things that you're about ready to go through, and you'll know, and you'll gain support from them plus the instructor. So, you know, I highly recommend it. I don't like getting out in the heat, and it's been hot, and I sweat quicker than a damn uh, tick on no, uh, no blood hound, but nonetheless, and you need to track your food intake. A diary is very important because you can see this is mine right here. It's just real simple. I put it on notebook paper and I attach it inside my folder. Right there it is. So you can see the good and the bad and the ugly. And I would advise you to be honest with yourself because if you're not going to be honest with yourself, you might as well just close the book because it's not going to happen. But, you know, I messed up last night and I had something I shouldn't have had. But, you know, I take that as one day at a time. But that being said, you have to get back on the horse and ride her like she's supposed to be ridden. Um, they have that plus... They have, I'll just show you some of the tabs here. They have getting started, your orientation day, and then they have the medical, the behavioral, hospital orientation. That is December 7th for me. So as long as I keep losing weight, I've lost. Oh, let's see, 21 and a half, 21, maybe 21 and a half pounds since the 23rd. So, uh, my first, I think it was 23rd of July or 25th of July. Okay, the 20, let's see here. What was I? Let me find it here. Let me find it, hold on. Okay, so, okay, so I was, well, I know I have it here somewhere. Okay, it was 498, yeah, um, 725.23, it was 498.4 at 65 inches, 5.5. Five. So I've lost 79 to 98, 498, so I've lost about 21 pounds, um, she had put me on a 
you know, I was on a lot of insulin. So she has reduced my insulin down to the Novolog, or not Novolog, but the Humalog and the Levomir. Levomir is long lasting, lasting, acting in. Levomir is the fast acting. No, 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 no. I'm twisted up here. So the Humalog is a fast acting quick pen, and the Levomir is a long lasting. So I was taking 200 units of Levomir a day and 120 three times a day of the Humalog. So she's cut me down to 50 50. So 50 of the Levomir and 50 of the Humalog. And then she's added Monjero in on top of that one shot a week. So. <clears throat> At any rate, as I progress in my uh, journey, I intend to keep everyone posted. Uh, it, like I said, it, it may benefit some of you and it may not benefit some of you. Um, I just hope that maybe it does. <coughs> <coughs> because it's important. And I was out on the 23rd of August and I ended up getting it was terribly hot out and I went to the store so uh, I got very hot and I ended up getting a severe cold or an upper respiratory infection that I'm getting over um, but you got to keep yourself you know you got to keep your eye on the prize as they say and um, remember that there's a better you inside all of this and I hope I find mine and I would appreciate your comments and if you have anything nasty to say to me, just leave it to yourself, okay? Because I'm not into all that. You know, this video blog is for people that's like me. And you know something? In this world, there's probably millions of people that's like me. Because obesity is something that in all the far-reaching corners of the world, it's there. So just remember that. Then always remember one thing to all those that want to poke fun at people that are fat and yell out the car window, Hey, fat ass, get up out of your, uh, um, your wheelchair or whatever. Always remember that there was a contributing factor as to why that person was in that wheelchair. You know, is it more than likely due to my weight? I'm sure it is. But I also had a blood clot. And the day that I had the blood clot, November or October of 2015, I had put it together a bed and I raised up and I felt a pop in my ankle and I just thought it was a normal pop. Turned out the next day I couldn't even get out of bed. So careful what you say because you know something? I'm a firm believer. Karma can come back and bite you in the ass. And with that, until my next time, bye-bye.